Okay, this is my Frontier OS 23 sawmill, and I had a problem where the belt would twist. And when the belt twists, it throws the blade, and the blade usually gets damaged in the process. And I figured out what the cause is, and I fixed it. I haven't had a problem since. I'm going to show you what it is. Okay, this is what the sawmill looks like with the cover open. Um, as you can see, you've got two big pulleys. <laughs> and you got a drive pulley in the middle that that uh, the motor is connected to that drives the, the belt. And you've got a take-up idler pulley, which is for tensioning the belt just to the right of the drive pulley. Now the big large pulley on the right, this pulley here, that's th this is the pulley that's driven by the, the motor. So this pulley here is critical that it's lined up. Okay, on the side of the, the sawmill, there's a bolt here. And that bolt, by turning it one way or the other way, It adjusts the alignment of this pulley right here on this side. And there's a bolt on the other side in the exact same spot for that pulley. So when I'm changing my belt and my blade, what I, what I do first is I make sure that this pulley here, the one that drives the belt, is lined up with the <coughs> drive pulley. If it's not lined up, if this pulley here is not lined up with this drive pulley, you're going to twist your belt. And you'll throw your blade, it'll, it'll knock teeth off your blade, it'll damage your blade. So the first thing I do is I check, I use the back wall of my sawmill as a guide. And I measure from the back wall on the right side of the pulley. I got about two inches, and then I measure on the left side of the pulley. And I've also got about two inches. Now, I can turn this, this bolt right here, and what that will do is that will bring this side out and this side of the pulley in. If I turn the bolt the other direction, it'll bring this side of the pulley out and this side of the pulley in. And they want you want it to be relatively even on both sides of the pulley. You don't want you want about the same distance on each side from the back plate of your sawmill. See, I got two inches on both sides, so it's I can tell that this is lined up with my motor drive pulley. So, and then when I am Putting the belt on, I use this pulley to adjust the tracking of the, the blade. So this pulley, I do the, the tracking of the belt with. And then this pulley, I track the blade with. Now after, I can do minor adjustments tracking of the blade with this pulley. But you don't want to make big changes because if this goes out of line with this drive pulley, it's going to it's going to twist your belt. You're going to throw your blade and damage your blade and cause all kinds of troubles. Anyway, so this pulley is the one that drives the belt. So I first adjust this pulley to be even so that it's lined up with the with the drive pulley and then I use the other pulley to track the blade mainly I can make some minor adjustments on this to track the blade but that's it I haven't had a problem since I hope you like this video I hope it helps you and uh, please help my channel like my videos comment um, subscribe to see more I've got some pretty cool uh, timber frame building and uh, guitars that I build. Um, thanks for watching.